can you see other countries like the US or China agreeing to, to this kind of proposal? Uh, I think uh, uh, it is uh, what I can say is that uh, within the International Iron Steel uh, Institute, which is a worldwide organization for steel, uh, there is an, uh, an uh, people are conscious that uh, CO2 is a major issue for uh, to be faced by the steel industry, and hence uh, within that uh, organization, there is a lot of debate what should be the better solutions and I would say that uh, first of all there is already today an agreement to establish the measurements of the CO2 because today in some countries I mean, you don't even, they even don't measure the kind of uh, emissions you have and this is done with the aim that it should be the first step of uh, introducing a sectoral agreement so I would say it is a positive approach working towards such an, an agreement, but we do not have yet an agreement. I think from the other hand, we would get the support of uh, big countries, uh, maybe uh, today from the European Union, uh, tomorrow from the United States, uh, uh, if that could be part of some political agenda with a country like China needs to be associated, I think it could give really a dynamic and then asking the profession to work out such a system and then uh, to, uh, to present it to the, to the different countries. Today, the European steel industry is at the top in terms of energy efficiency. So, if you cap and if you, if you force European steel to reduce or no longer to produce, the consequence will be that the global steel industry will emit more CO2 than it emits today. Mm -hmm. So, it's total absurd if we do not find a solution to that.